Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. I'm back out in the bush today, chasing some more goats with the bow. We've just been up on top of the hill and spotted some billies, a mob of billies out here somewhere. I'm just trying to make some ground, try to get to them. They haven't been moving around very quickly, but you know what it's like, they can just disappear whenever they want. Anyways, I've got the camera, big camera today. Hopefully get a few bit better shots than last time for you. See what happens anyways. I didn't realize the bushes were this tall from the car. <laughs> Can't see the car yet, so yeah, still must be a little way off of them. I know, it would have been a K or so. Probably seeing these goats from the car starting to open up a bit so hopefully I can get to their rough sort of area. I know there's at least two billies. But... So I've walked out to where I thought the goats were. It's hard because I think I veered off to the right a bit but I can see three goats. It's not the original two billies that we've seen. There is one billy and I think two nannies I can see now but I think they were close to the two black billies that I've seen from the hill. Wait for them to move so I can start stalking in. So that might be another one out in the background. Anyways, we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll have a go anyways. I've made a bit of made a bit of ground on these goats. Got one tree in between us. It's mostly just nannies and they're sort of coming this way. But I'm going to try film it on my big camera as well. See how that goes, it's going to be hard. Probably, I don't know, 70 yards from them. I'll try to get to this tree and then I'll get set up. Just there. So I've closed the gap to about 50 yards. Got my camera set up. Bow. I'm just gonna see if it's gonna work. <laughs> So I've just done a big lap of this whole area and I didn't see any billies, all nannies with kids. From the car I would have seen half a dozen or so big bodied billies cruising around but I don't know, don't know where they've gone. I'm going to head back now anyways and we'll make a new plan, try somewhere else I think. Yeah. Didn't get one yet, so it's the afternoon now. Haven't managed to get anything yet, haven't really seen anything. Really want to shoot. Well, I haven't really got into range of anything yet either. Seen some more up here. Let's see if we can get into range. I don't know how many there is, I've just seen a few on top of this bit of a hill over here. Still gonna try film it with my big camera. Might be goats in there. there easily can't see them all but I'm gonna go around this side and maybe gonna come try to get out of the wind so I'm just gonna meet them over there well there's more in front there oh, there's plenty 
guinea goats. Not counting. <laughs> I'd really love to shoot a big billy, but it's been quite a while since I've seen one of those. Is that another goat there? Yep, there's another goat there. I've got some new broadheads I want to try out. I'm pretty sure they're going to do the job. <laughs> I might just try find the biggest billy that I can, the biggest body billy. There's no big horns around. Oh, I haven't seen any for a long time. Just going slow so they don't see me. Finally found a billy that has a bit of weight to him. <laughs> no, maybe not the biggest billy I've seen this trip, but he's one of the bigger ones I've seen. There's not much cover here. It looks thick on the camera, but it's like maybe a hundred meters to the rocks, and I can see probably a dozen goats or more between here and there. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see if we can get in there and have a crack at that billy. It's getting a bit, getting pretty late now. The sun's behind a cloud, but it's getting close to going down. And the goat that I was going after, the billy, he's just gone and laid down. And he's facing this way. And there's, since he's laid down, two others have laid down near him. So I may have to just come back tomorrow or just wait until dark to see if they get up and move. There's some goats coming in behind me actually, I might get a shot at a nanny or a young billy or something, we'll see. I'm going to sit down. I just got a shot on a billy at about 29 yards just on dark and he went like 20 meters and he just piled up he just toppled straight over he's already down look he didn't go any far at all I'm gonna go get my arrow and have a look but I believe that was a good heart shot or double lung right on the brink of being able to see but I could just see my pins and the goat so that's enough all right where's my arrow okay I can't see my arrow but it is dark almost so let me go look at this goat and see where the if there's a blood trail oh here's my arrow right here pretty nasty looking Nice and red. Alright, we'll go get this goat. Well, 
might be a little bit hard to see now because it's pretty dark but I'll show you the um, the entry hole as it roll him over so there's the entry hole it looks pretty far back but roll him over There's the exit, right between his front legs. Just a little stinky billy. Anyways, I've got a knife in my bag. I'll have to go get that over the other side. We'll whip some legs off him and then we'll go back to camp and we'll go out again tomorrow. Go out in the morning first thing. All right, ta-ta. I've just been wandering around down here. I spotted a few goats up in front of me probably seen it was getting a bit dark last night I did get a shot away but I'm not even sure if you can see it on the cameras but it wasn't ideal for what I wanted to show you guys but we'll see what I can do here and then you go there I'll try to get down on these goats oh there's a whole mob there Most of those goats I was following but they got up and they were looking over at me anyways I got a about a 30 yard shot off at a nanny and I'm pretty sure I got it on the big camera as well so I'll have a look later and see if you can actually see it but yeah bloody knees are sore now from sitting down so long oh, alright I'm going to go film the arrow which has gone maybe she would have went maybe 15 or 20 yards from where I shot her. And that's it, she's laid down. Here's my arrows stuck straight in this tree. It's still one piece and it still looks good. Alright, so my goat's all cleaned up. A few legs here. Got a few more bits and pieces in my backpack. just heading back to the car now we're gonna go back to camp but finally got it on the big camera so you can actually see up close what's going on nearly back now halfway back probably we were down in there cars over there it wasn't that far maybe a k that was a good morning anyways pretty happy with it Right, we're back at the car now. No one stole it. I'm gonna get some bags out and put these put this goat in it. Hey everyone. So I've been thinking about what I wanted to what I wanted to cook with this goat that I got last time and I wasn't too sure but it's on Instagram the other day and seen a story from Jono of a goat backstrap that he was cooking up with bacon and everything on the barbie so I thought you know what that's what I'm gonna do so this is what we've got 
Got a back strap here, I've cut it into two pieces, it's only a smaller one. Got a mushroom, got some spring onion, a jalapeno. I've decided to add some of this. Need cream cheese and also some butter as well. So some, some of you will already know Jono and what he gets up to, but he's always bloody catching snakes and just stuff that most people wouldn't be doing with venomous snakes anyways. I'm gonna put his Instagram in the bio so you can go and check it out. See his hunting and snake catching. So you just wanna cut everything up. So I've got the spring onion, the jalapeno and the mushrooms all cut up. So what you wanna do is you wanna butterfly the back strap and then tenderize it. And then we're gonna put the stuffing in the middle and then fold it back over. Wrap it in so this bacon. This is what we've got so far. We've got all the ingredients on. Now what you want to do is fold it on top of each other, or fold it back onto itself, and everything's like a stuffing then. All right. So now we've got our back straps all stuffed, ready to go on the barbie. Well, almost ready. What we need to do now is we need to wrap them in bacon. I've got the oven on at 150 degrees right now. So once I wrap these up, I'll put it in the oven for 25 minutes. And whilst I'm waiting, I'll go out the back and get the smoker ready to go. All right, here they are. I've chucked a couple of skewers through mine because they're not, well, they probably will stay together, but I just don't want them to fall apart. <laughs> Anyways, they are ready to go into the oven. So I'll chuck them in now. Been in the oven for 25 minutes. I'll get them out now. Bloody smells awesome. Smells so good. Looks good as well. Right, I'm gonna take them outside now. I'm gonna chuck them in the smoker. Oh, how good does that look? So I'm only gonna change one thing for this recipe. Put some of this, just a little bit of this rub on top. That's it. So I'm not really sure, I'm just sort of winging how long to put them in for, but it's on pretty low heat. So I've just flipped them. Look at that. Oh. Smells good. Can't wait to get into those. So I've already taken it out of Barbie. Couldn't help myself, I've already knocked over one of them and half of the other one. Anyways, here it is. Looks so good. Definitely worth it. Give it a go. That's something. That's so damn good. I'm gonna keep doing that one. That's the recipe to keep. Anyways, that's the end of this one. And um, if you enjoyed that, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm sure I'll have something for you next week to look at. All right, take it easy.